Welcome back everyone to the Real South Dakota Men YouTube channel. Today we're doing a goose chili catch clean cook. Not really catch clean cook. Cook. We, you saw us catch it in the last video. So stay tuned. So as you can see here, um, we have two goose breasts. You know, I didn't know if this was gonna be enough for a whole pot, so I do have just a bag of like tenderloins over here. We're gonna be baking these uh, goose breasts simply for the fact that um, I don't think in like a soup slash stew slash like chili sense, I don't think uh, pan frying them would make sense. Um, so yeah, so as you can see on these, I've had them sitting out for a little bit. I covered them in salt. I got a lot of the silver skin off, but I, I sliced up the front of it pretty good, just cause goose, you know, it's not the most tender. That's kind of why we're doing it like this. So I covered it in salt, but I'm hoping it'll draw a little more of the blood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse these off and then get them seasoned up. We don't actually have a baking sheet, so we're gonna have to just use a uh, piece of tin foil, stick in the oven, and then uh, these are probably gonna bake for, we're gonna, I'm gonna check them at an hour. So we're gonna get these rinsed off and uh, in the oven. Oh hell yeah. All right, we got uh, salt, garlic powder, and some black pepper here. Now, I mean, it is, it is gonna be in like a soup, but I do believe this is still quite important to get these seasoned as well. I think under seasoned meat is the biggest boner. If you don't season your meat well, you're gay. Nobody wants to be gay. See, our channel's not big enough for when I say stuff like that for it to matter. Always season both sides of your meats. I know I said this in a, a previous, previous video. So anyways, we're gonna set the oven to 350, pop these geese goose breasts in there. Ugh, this is the first time you guys have seen her more than just my room. I know we're probably seeing a video that doesn't start with me cracking open a V8. All right guys, so we're going to start our uh, soup portion of the chili. Uh, I'll run through the ingredients that you're gonna need for the soup. So you got. Uh, one yellow onion, uh, ground cumin, paprika, oregano, chili powder, obviously for your chili. 12, or I have a 16 ounce can of kidney be red kidney beans. All these, just get as close to 12 as you can. 12 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes, get crushed if possible. 12 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, and then a six ounce can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. These are gonna give the chili a lot of flavor. Uh, it's also gonna bring a lot of heat to the, to the chili which I personally like, but some of our uh, younger viewers may not. So what we're gonna start off doing is doing a uh, chop, a dice on this onion. I'm gonna leave the fuzzy bottom on. You're just gonna go, wanna go through, slice it up, you know, as evenly as you can. You just don't wanna be biting into big chunks of raw onion in your chili. The reason you wanna leave that butt end is so you're not dealing with your onion layers slipping and sliding everywhere. So we have our onion uh, diced up or whatever, our chili pot on the stove, uh, it's heating up. We're gonna take some olive oil, toss it in the bottom. Now, I'm not an expert chef, I'm just gonna to eat. Let those get some color on them until they start, when they start turning translucent, is gonna probably be where you wanna throw your garlic in. Wait till your garlic gets a little fragrant. And then you're going to start dumping things like your uh, chipotle peppers and your tomatoes and your beans, all that stuff, probably gonna sit and simmer for an hour and a half, you know, right around there. You want you want it to simmer for an hour and a half like that so it'll, it'll breaks down all the flavors and really lets them get a chance to, you know, know each other. Oh, Chris, are you rocking the Spoonie Live Live? I am. Bro, that's a gross hoodie. Where'd you ever get that? I don't know. RSDM. Bro, it's even got the bird on the side. Kinda yucky. Be a shame if there was only four smalls left. Probably wouldn't fit any of our viewers, but if you want hoodies, they're $30. Um, we have, I think, four smalls and maybe like a medium or two left. So if you do want any hoodies, DM us on Instagram right here. Um, other than that, sorry, kinda missed out. If we posted it on our Instagram, that's why you should be following our Instagram. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, voiceover Nathan here. Uh, had some more file transferring issues, which is, I think, a little odd. But anyways, so we added garlic to the chili. We added five or six cloves of garlic. We just we used black garlic because we were trying to be bougie, but it, it, I did not really notice a huge difference between that and normal garlic. So you could just use normal garlic. That's just fine. Um, but yeah, that's why it looks like that. I didn't burn the garlic. It's black garlic. So that is the strat there. So now comes our next 
uh, ingredient. So now you're gonna add um, all your canned stuff. So we're gonna start off by getting a good chop on these chipotle peppers and adobo. Honestly, the best way I can describe adobo is kind of like the Mexican barbecue sauce. Like I said, we're just gonna get a rough chop on these. These do have a lot of seeds in them, um, so they're probably gonna be decently spicy. <coughs> like that, that was kind of spicy. If you want to cut back on the spice, you know, cut back on the cut back on the adobos. If you want to increase the spice, I can't, I don't really know what to tell you. Maybe add more. Oh. Sauce goes in there. Too much sauce in there. Next, we're gonna dump in our can of fire roast. We just need a uh, uh, freaking heckin' uh, petite diced, ideally crushed tomatoes going in next. First thing we wanna start out with a third of a cup chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of ground oregano, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. So I was just looking at the recipe. Yep. Okay. That's all the stuff for our spices. We have one more uh, ingredient to add. We'll grab that right now. The last ingredient, uh, they're gonna add six ounces of brown liquid. Um, you can use any sort of brown liquid that you like. That's gonna give A, more liquid to the soup, and B, it's gonna bring a more flavor. I think we're gonna let this kind of cook out here. Covered for the first little bit, Probably uncovered towards the end if we wanted to thicken up or something like that. So that's what we got rocking with right now. Uh, now we're gonna clean up and uh, bog deep, I guess. Bye. All right, boys. I didn't really show it because I kind of forgot. So I took the uh, goose breasts out of the oven. They're looking very nice. The chili is still uh, bogging away over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, chili continue to cook and simmer or whatever. And like, you know, right before you're about to serve it, I'm gonna dice up the duck and get that in there with them. So that's the place right now. Or the duck, goose, same difference. So the goose is done out of the oven. So we're just going to kind of uh, chunk the goose up into kind of steak-sized pieces. And then toss everything in with the soup and then it'll be ready to eat. All right guys, so we dumped all the meat in the uh, chili. It's ready to go. Uh, so now all it's up to do is serve it up, you know, sour cream, cheese, uh, Fritos. We don't have Fritos or sour cream, so we get uh, shredded cheese and saltines and no sour cream. God. I personally like mine, Just some cheese and saltines. It's definitely got some kick, but once you add the cheese and saltines and like have it with like some meat, it's not bad. Um, the goose got a little bit overdone, which was partially my bad, but it still tastes fun. So we're gonna get everyone else's reactions once they dish up, and that's what that's what we're gonna do now. It is hot in this kitchen. You got to see it through, my boy. Christian, what do you think of it, bro? The goose chili is yummy. Yeah, this is my roommate Christian. Bryce, oh, so good. Chris. Nick? It's a little spicy, but it's good. Good to hear. I haven't tried it I haven't yet. really tried it. Full it's fruit. amazing. Good to hear. Well guys, you hear what they say. Everyone gives it 10 out of 10s, five stars, all the way around. No complaints whatsoever. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like, subscribe if you feel like it, and remember to be on the lookout for the next episode of Real South Dakota Man. I'm having a stroke. If you're a small human being, we still have a few size small hoodies left. We might have like one size medium. Um, if you want one, hit us up on Instagram right here. Stay safe, be happy. Catch you guys next time.